Okay. Uh, this is the book of, of uh, uh, English grammar. High school English. Sir, can you uh, show the title of the book? Uh, title of the book. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. अच्छा मैम टाइटल ऑफ द बुक तो अभी अवेलेबल नहीं ये वो चलो ग्रुप में मैं शेयर कर लूँगा और मैंने शेयर किया हुआ भी है इट्स ओके 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 सर कोई बात कोई बात नहीं ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस बुक इज द सेंटेंस वी स्पीक और राइट वी यूज वर्ड्स � this is an example. Little Jay Corner sat, sat in a corner. A group of words like this, which makes complete sense, is called sentence. Little Jack Corner sat in a corner. So this sentence gives a complete sense. You have come to know that Little Jack Corner is sitting somewhere in a corner so it makes a complete sense so it is called as sentence so there are different kinds of sentences kinds of sentences sentences are of four kinds okay. those which make statements or assertions as Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall something is being told to you Humpty Dumpty is sitting on the Wall. So it, this is actually a statement. Another type is those which ask questions. Where do you live? Those or entreaties as why? Have mercy upon us. And the fourth type is those which express strong feeling as how cold the night is. So these are different kinds of sentences. Now we are going to learn their names also. What are these? A sentence that makes a statement or assertion is called declarative or assertive sentence. Something uh, in a sentence, something is declared. You are not asked anything or you are not given any sort of command or not, or you are not given any, uh, expressed any, but just something has been declared is called declarative or assertive sentences. A sentence that asks a question is called Interrogative sentence. For example, the example is given, where do you live? So this is an interrogation of anything, asking for something, asking about something. So it is interrogative sentence. A sentence that expresses a command or entreaty is called imperative sentence something here entries making a request a humble request so uh, it is called as imperative sentence the sentence that expresses expresses strong feeling is called exclamatory sentence to express some feeling for example the example is given above how cold is how cold the night is and what a shame so this is some some sort of uh, expression is given some sort of uh, feeling has been expressed in these sentences so when we talk about a uh, sentence we we need to know about what are the parts of sentence so the, 
uh, any these four cards which are discussed they have a certain parts which makes the sentence complete which gives a complete sense to the words <laughs> or we can say it gives a complete sense to the combination of words okay the subject and predicate subject and predicate okay when we make sentence we name some person or thing and say something about that person or thing so when we name some person or thing we are talking about the subject of a sentence and when we say something about that person or thing we are talking about its predicate in other words we must have a subject to speak about and we must say or predicate something about that so hence every sentence has the part which names the person or thing we are speaking about this is called subject of so about whom we are talking about whom we are speaking or about whom we are writing is the subject of the sentence and what the subject is doing what is subject expressing is the predicate so by the combination of a subject and predicate we have a complete sense of the words so it becomes a proper sentence <laughs> okay is there any question uh, about this page of this book papa no ma'am it is quite clear yeah no question okay let's move towards page number 4 okay ma'am uh, i am sharing uh, another page just a minute okay टिश्यू देने समथिंग कश्मीर या कोई देश में आ रहे हैं उसकी इलेक्शन कितनी जरूरी है अम्म प्रिंसिपल इन मेरे फ्रेंड ओ ही इज़ द प्रिंसिपल uh for high school ramatala he told me that in a publisher commission interview uh, uh were asked uh, about the sent uh, types of sentence and he said to me that i expressed uh, uh, the four types of sentence uh, uh, which were expressed uh, in rain and martin high school english grammar and he told me uh, that there are some books uh, in which are mentioned of uh, five types or uh, six types two types so uh, Uh, but he told me that uh, this is the authentic books for english and you should uh, follow this book uh, to learn english uh, which one this one this uh, ren martin
Uh, the the page is not here, though. Uh, but uh, it, it means there is uh, there is some problem. I think some, something um, went wrong. I think yes, some, something went wrong. Okay, uh, which book was he talking about? The, the book uh, when we are studying, Sir Martin's book, or any other? Yes, ma'am. She told me. No. He told me that uh, in Publisher Commission, uh, uh, when uh, he, uh, uh, I think uh, the, this, this was uh, 2014, when he was, uh, okay. when he was selected uh, as principal uh, uh, in BPS uh, 18, uh, he told me that uh, I was asked uh, okay. about the sentence uh, and their type, uh, and uh, I expressed uh, the okay. four types of sentence uh, which were uh, uh, mentioned uh, which were expressed uh, in uh, uh, Rain and Martin uh, in high school grammar, which uh, was uh, quite uh, uh, this book is quite uh, authentic. Okay, okay, uh, okay, kinds of sentences are uh, according to structure, they are different according to uh, uh, they are different. So, other kind.